Now, as the air and also the ground attacks rage on in the Middle East, European cities are on high alert after being warned of a possible terror attack before the new year. Lots of security everywhere you go, both in camouflage and in plain clothes. In a rare message, and this is a brand new development, right? In a rare message to his followers, ISIS leader al-Baghdadi calling to arms all Islamic State followers in the fight against the U.S. and other Western states. His threats spoke specifically, and this is what's different, to the people of Israel saying an attack is sooner than they think. There's so much more to this message than meets the eye. Al-Baghdadi's message comes as the Iraqi army raises the flag over Ramadi. Following three weeks of fighting to regain control of that city, the Iraqi fighters are now successful over ISIS, at least there. With the battle on the ground raging on in three major cities now taken away from ISIS, is the fight against the Islamic State going to win it, right? And will Mosul be the next city ISIS loses? You've got Beji, Sinjar, Ramadi, and possibly now Mosul. Let's bring in Captain Chuck Nash. He's retired U.S. Navy captain, Fox News military analyst. He says these uprisings against ISIS are a way out of this mess. Captain Nash, how important is the taking of Ramadi? Liz, I think it's really important. And the main factor that people can't miss here is the fact that the Sunni tribes were involved and they were on the tip of the spear in helping take back Ramadi. This has been a rebuilding effort by U.S. Special Forces uh, and others to put together and reconstruct the Iraqi military that was shamefully routed out of Mosul uh, over a year ago. So it's taken that long to get with the tribes, get with the Anbar uh, officials and bring those people back. So it's, a, it's an admission by the al Abadi government in Baghdad that the the Sunnis are going to have to have a voice in the new Iraqi government. He can't just keep them out because if he does, that's exactly what opened the door and allowed the tribes to allow ISIS in. Well, so uh, this, this is, this is a, a significant uh, change in, in the complexion of the fight over there. Uh, I'm not a military person, but I would think so too. Why? Because after 32 airstrikes this past week, then you have the people on the ground there, as you mentioned, not just the Iraqis, but you also have uh, the Kurds who are following and helping, right. certainly, and the paramilitary groups that are allied with the, the U.S. and the other allies. Uh, is it true, Captain Nash, because you often look at all military wins, whether it was the Sons of Liberty or, or the, the Vietnamese, a single mm -hmm. crucial victory can turn the tide. And now that you have al-Baghdadi coming out with this 24-minute rambling audio message to his people saying, be steadfast, Mujahideen, to me it looks like he's scared. He may be on his heels. Well, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like the halftime pitch. Uh, when you go into the locker room, where are you? Uh, because that's going to uh, affect the way the coach talks to the team. And as in sports, warfare is the same thing. You cannot underestimate the value of morale to a sports team and to a war fighting operation. Morale and confidence, and you have to have those things. So uh, when you look at, at the, the, the uh, successes, that the Iraqi government is having and the losses that the ISIS folks are having, the momentum is starting to shift. And if that momentum can be maintained, and that's the hope and prayer here, that that momentum can be maintained, I can see the, the Sunni tribes principally being the ones who revoke who the open it. door yeah. to ISIS and drive them out of western Iraq, back into Syria, back into the loving arms of the Assad regime and the Russians. Mm -hmm. Well, can't wait to see that. Listen, thank you very I much, would Captain love it. Nash. Me too. Great to see you. Thank you so much. You bet, Liz. Thank you.